Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Daruk, and this is episode 5 of Resident Evil 3. Last we left off, we fought Nemesis for the second time. So I'm thinking we got three or four more fights in this game <laughs> against this guy, judging by the last game. Um, Jill got infected by Nemesis, uh, was kind of poisoned. Carlos found her, saved her, put her in the hospital, and we kind of just went through this hospital segment where I was completely just annihilated. <laughs> by these hunters uh that i just had an extremely hard time killing uh but we did manage to find the antidote and save jill so we left off right before what i think is like some kind of like last stand sequence where they said you gotta you know stock up on ammo and i think we're gonna go out to this hospital lobby and just probably fight a ton of zombies i'm honestly a little bit trepidatious about that because if i have to fight more of those hunters it's gonna be a long <laughs> It's going to be a very long episode, <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, so with, you know, having wrapped everything up, let's just get started and get back to the game. All right, guys, it's showtime. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The oh, wow, we barricaded it. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Yeah, I mean, okay, there we go. Time to kill a bunch of zombies. Okay. Now the fun shit begins. I've got an electric battery thing. Let me see if there's any more. There are a few more. This is like COD zombies, man. But... You're just way less lethal. <laughs> oh boy. There's gotta be ammo, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. We have, like, C4 we can use? Well, how am I supposed to use it? Oh god, we got a bunch of ammo too. I wonder if they increase your damage to these... Wow, something just exploded. I wonder if you like... Oh, okay, that was just... They just go into... The, so like the corpses don't take up too many resources. I wonder if they made you more lethal in this section. Or the zombies less tanky. So far so good, but I'm waiting for there to be actual hard enemies. Cause I think right now just zombies is whatever. Oh yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Yeah, go oh, shit. Hold up, hold up, bro. Let me heal, let me heal. Um, I don't need it right now. Oh, God. Here, let me heal. Oh, God, there's a fucking spider, dude. Alright, I spoke too soon. Now I'm, uh, I have no idea what's going on. Because this thing's on me. The, the dreaded one hit K KO. If I had acid rounds, Carlos doesn't have acid rounds. 
All right. I can tell this this is gonna be quite lengthy. <laughs> oh God. The fun shit. Okay, I'm just, uh, I don't even have much to say, right? This is just me shooting a bunch of zombies. I'm trying to think about how I'm going to take care of these. Um, I don't know what to do with this detonator either. Because I see the C4 there, but I don't, it doesn't look like I can interact with it. It might be like a, um, a more of a story thing. Like I'll get to a certain point and then I can use it. Okay, I've got a lot of ammo. Yeah, I definitely think they made these things weaker. Have they? Oh, is them breaching the room just hitting the barricade? I guess. I'd assume that's what it is. Okay, let me... Yeah, it was here, right? Find the breaker. It must be somewhere. Oh, god damn it. Oh wait, what the hell? Can I reload, please? Oh boy. Oh, I got a hip pouch. Okay. Oh shit, we are equipped here. But we are also trapped. Okay, nice. Um, all right. I don't see no, I don't see that weird spider crab. Oh, but I hear something. I'm out of AR ammo, which is not good. We have to deal with another honor, it's gonna be bad. Okay, so far, <laughs> I really don't wanna jinx it. But it seems so- oh nice headshot. Yeah, I think they're like throwing this stuff on the ground. This has got to be it, right? Oh, there we go. Oh god. The range on this thing. Okay, the FPS was bad there. I think when they're reaching a certain range, it's- pretty bad. Oh, it just grows on them. Okay, that gave me a heart attack, that screech. I also, okay, I need to use this. I don't need the cat. <laughs> I don't need that. Maybe I should have used the frags. Okay, I'm gonna use one of these.
Then let me combine these. And I'm just going to use this now. And then I'm going to throw this on my ground. And if I take damage, I take damage. But I'm hoping that will... Oh, man. It did not even... Not do much of it. Punch him. Okay, I think that's him down. Alright, let's go. Alright, second time. I thought I was going to be here for like 30 minutes. I'm not going to lie. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Hold out until the explosion. I got 30 seconds. I'm hoping more hunters don't show up. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard. I hope it's like a cutscene. Oh, they just gave me a bunch more ammo. Okay. Well, I think we're good. Nice. Okay. Cool. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I do think this these games aren't too too hard on hardcore or whatever. I think the boss fights are absolutely like the the biggest struggle. Right? And the boss fights in this one haven't been too bad. Close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. All right. Vaccine's the real deal. Good. Nice. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Call the government. You stall for time. <laughs> Just phone up the government. Who, who are we calling? <laughs> who are we calling? Oh, okay, that was weird. He's either evil or gonna die. Oh, we're back to Jill. Okay. What happened to the other guy? Is he here? No. You're not a zombie, Jill. It's okay. Oh. Wait, Carlos is here. I got good news. It's over now. Oh, this is a hallucination. There's no way this is real. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That didn't scare me as I thought it would. I think I was just kind of expecting it. All these first person sequences are very, um, nightmarish. Do it! Bang bang! Alright, nice. Nice dream. Where am I? What's going on? Oh. Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. Yeah, try to try to get out. Try to get out if you can. No. Can't be. Just walk out of the city. Should be fine. Alright, so we don't know. So it is October 1st now. We got an upgraded pistol or something. And we don't know where people are. Um, we should take this because we still need it apparently. And yeah, because there's all those locked, locked places. So. Um, all right, let's see. So I definitely remember there was like places in the hospital that were definitely intended for Jill. So let's see what we gotta do. Morning, sunshine. Oh, so he's here. Okay. Not you, me. Carlos is the goat. Is that true? He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. I can't remember. Did, broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky Did they mention that? I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I'm yeah, that was a bit, uh, nice. That's a good line. Right. 
Guess I'm not talking you out of it. I love this dude's just like been on the computer the entire <laughs> uh the entire game. Except when he like had to get from the police department. I again I, I'm like I'm like they have him as like kind of an important character, so it's like is he the bad guy or is he just gonna die? Is he actually just cool and lives? Who knows? Okay, we just got a bunch of boxes now. Stab them. I hope I'm not dealing with no hunters. I ain't got... Oh, what? Did I miss the Spencer Memorial pamphlet? We saw Spencer in Resi 1. Did we see it in 2? Um, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wings, we both know a lot of research wings where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs. Um, and bioweapons. Is this just gonna take me to the next area? Or is this just a small... Okay, this looks like it's going somewhere else. I feel like there's a lot of stuff upstairs. Um, let me... Let me go back up real quick. Make sure I'm not missing it because there's a lot of stuff in the other room, so... Let me do that. Okay, mag ammo, not bad. Did we get the extra hit pouch from Carlos? That's nice. If that's what happened. So there's a crate here too that we have to get. Let me see. Something in the courtyard. Yeah. There was nothing in here. Oh no, there was something in here. Oh, I didn't pick this up. This looks like Nikolai. Nikolai. Damn you, Nikolai. Yeah. Wait, I need, I don't even have gunpowder. Huh. All right. Well, we'll see if I find any if I have more slots later, I'll pick it up on the way back. I think there's another save room upstairs I can drop some stuff off. Oh, fuck. Okay, these things being like so sporadic is really annoying, but at least the shotgun, way easier to handle them with that. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here that is just ammo. Not a bad thing. Um, alright. So good thing we cleared everything out. I wonder if these things all live if I don't kill them. Like if there's gonna if this was like gonna be much more of a pain in the ass. Um, let me store this. Let me. I actually should probably hold on to this. Let's store this. I have a Glock now, so or an automatic pistol, I believe.
Oh, what the hell? We were in here before. Oh, did they all get up? Okay, bro. Okay, this pistol feels weird to use. It's, like, I can't tell if it's automatic or not. I don't know if I have to hold it down, but I was holding it down and it wasn't firing. Okay, 12 shotgun shells is pretty big. Oh, what the hell? You're up? Okay, well that's everything up here, and I have to get through this. I just make a run for it. Please no hunter. Alright, let's see what else we got. Yeah, okay. Cause there's a safe here as well. I think I can squeeze by. Yep. Knew it. Oh, let's see what we got here. Ow. All right. Guaranteed to give you a headache. Yep, that's that's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. Give me the Desert Eagle, the Lightning Hawk. Okay, we still have a few things, right? So we got gunpowder stuff up there. And then we've got, we gotta do something with the um, safe as well. Okay, I was afraid because there's that one box that I don't think I ever lockpicked a while back. I think it's in episode 3 or 2. And I was worried that was where the the Magnum was or the Desert Eagle and I was afraid I'd missed it. So I'm happy I did not. So there's something in the sick room. Okay, I don't know if I should- I should not have done that, but... <laughs> Alright, okay, some gunpowder, alright. We need the- Oh wait, no, we got the safe. Okay, so... There's something in the treatment room, which I think was just... Assault rifle ammo. I wonder if it changes if I get it as drill, but I'm not gonna do that, it's not worth it. I'm just gonna lockpick this and then I'm gonna go downstairs. Pick up the rest of that ammo and that gunpowder and then we'll be good to go. Yeah. Um, um yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna bother. Can't even see it anywhere. Is there a locked locker somewhere? Nah, I don't think so. I think we're good. Alright, let's get out of here. You're speedrunning this, I guess you just skip past this entire section. Because that doesn't seem necessary. So let me pick this up. And then let's go... Into his office and get that powder. The gunpowder. Fuck it. Oh, it's explosive, so I can't even... Huh. 
Oh, I can just get rid of this. We're done with it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go save real quick then, so I don't have to do all this over again. Oh! Dude, what the hell? Okay, honestly, I will do that. Bro, you didn't get attacked by one of these things? You're just chilling and they don't attack you? Alright, that's very nice of them. Damn, man. Those hunters jump scare me every time. There's nothing here, right? Carlos took everything. All right, let's go. Let's go into the sewers again. We're, we're going back. It wouldn't be a Resi game without 17 sewer levels. I guess Resi One didn't really have that, but we kind of did go into sewers with the underground lab and stuff. Okay. Umbrella, umbrella. I was stepping on glass. I heard something there and I was like, the hell? Alright, so is Nikolai gonna be the final boss or is he just gonna always show up at the worst times? Oh, this is the, um. This is what we used in Resi 2, no? Like this lift? Or maybe we use something similar because I remember this, um, like double battery pack thing. No, it's not. It's similar, but because the one that we took, like, went, was, like, going in, like, a diagonal. <laughs> I think some people did. Mm, I feel like something's gonna happen here. Wait for it? No? Okay. Alright, let's see. Okay, hip pouch, nice. Door. Let's read this. Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm, gather fuses from the sub generators. Okay. Um, I think we'll just keep everything we got right now. Let me save. I wonder how, where this story is really going from here. Cause we're just trying to get out of the city at this point. Like that's just, that's it. Like there's, I guess we'll kill Nikolai somehow and guaranteed we're gonna fight Nemesis a few more times. Oh Jesus. Like I'm curious where like this will end up. Oh, there you are, Nikolai. Looking, looking evil as per. Oh, we're gonna. Okay, ow. He's not gonna say anything. Okay, weird. You didn't notice us, or what? Is he in a phone call? And he's just staring at us, and Jill doesn't say anything either? Okay, weird. I thought they'd like, there'd be some kind of dialogue. I wonder if it bugged out. I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our games end here. <sighs> you think this is over? Your tenacity is uh, admirable. Oh, hello. Oh, what the fuck? 
Whoa, 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 what is that? Alright, this looks like something you use acid on. This looks like a ghoul from like freaking um from like Fallout. Do you just drop one of these things on us? Okay, maybe I'm wasting this ammo. It does not look like it's doing much. Oh no, we got him. Okay, that thing looks disgusting, but maybe it wasn't as scary as I thought it was. One fuse down. Few. Wait, did I put away my knife, man? I gotta not do that. I wish I could just punch these. Alright, whatever. weird segment are we gonna get anything more than just zombies dropping okay I spoke oh dude I I, I literally this game <laughs> I, I will just say something and then the game is listening to me Just, just as I said that, <laughs> I make it too easy. I'm not gonna lie. I do make it too easy, bruh. Should I go through there first? I'll just do this first. Definitely not gonna get yoinked. Don't jump scare me. Okay, we're good. We are good. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, good thing I have grenades. I can't believe I... <sighs> She's too strong. Okay, let me out. Damn it. That should have been so clean and it ended up being really bad. What am I doing, man? Oh my god, I'm so tilted. Okay, these things are definitely tougher than your normal zombie. Oh, and it's faster, and it's faster. Okay, bad, bad use of my ammo, but whatever. One grenade should have done the trick, I think, if I'd aimed it well. Oh, okay, so this is where, we, okay. Uh, so that means I did not do everything well. Let me go back then. I we'll hope this guy didn't get back up. All right, I don't know that much. We got no handgun ammo left. What is the point of lowering that then? Is it just so I can walk around? That's probably it, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, I think that's an ammo related thing maybe, so we'll see if I can um, try to reload my magazine using that thing, we'll see.
Looks like that thing's supposed to go up, but... Uh, where the hell am I going? There's a bunch of shit I haven't picked up. So there's a lift lever, surveillance room. I missed something. I'm just not sure what. Huh. Maybe it's up on that second floor. Let me do this. Oh, and that's how I raise this as well. Okay. I don't really know what's going on. I think I have to get these fuses, but it's all I can gather. A little bit more of a slower paced episode of Resident Evil. First time for everything, I suppose. That thing's gonna open and there's gonna be a bunch of zombies or something in there. These are like containers, yeah. Or it's gonna- yep. Yeah. I thought so. Why- yep. Oh, mama, okay. <laughs> I- no, get off me. I need the grenade. Okay, that... Come on. You you gotta give me props on that. That was clean. Okay. Not too shabby. Another fuse. So we had three, right? Yeah, yeah. We have to find three of the fuses. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? Do I use one shotgun shell? Just, uh, I guess I do. Actually, wait, can we combine these? Nice, okay. I'm hoping that I have to use something <laughs> by the time I have to get this third fuse, but cross that bridge when we come to it. So I don't know where this third fuse is, because we got one here. Got another here. The third one should be in this area, then. Not sure where that would be. Oh, maybe I have to go up that ladder? No, no, that's back to where we were originally, no? Oh, there's another door here. Yeah, okay. Okay, dude, these things are so much easier to deal with with the freaking, um, <laughs> with the uh, shotgun. All right, perfect. It all worked out. All right, Nikolai, we're definitely going to catch you and beat you up. Let's save. Fall down again. Oh, they're back up now. Oh, what the hell, man? I'm actually... Uh, can I use the magnum here? Wow, it's not a... It's two bullets, too. 
What the hell, man? Oh god, get off me, man. I do not want to see what the death animation is on that. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, if I don't have a full heal here, I'm gonna be very sad. Okay, that was not an efficient use of my ammo, but I don't care. I don't care. Let's get this done. I thought that was gonna be a puzzle or something, but it was just automatic. Alright, Nikolai. Oh, he's gone? What? Shit, he got away. Wow, really? What was he doing in here? He's in a phone call or some shit. Looking ominous. Okay. I like that. So Again, I'm gonna hold off. I, again, I know there was some mechanic behind it that I've already forgotten about. Some attachments give you ammo back or some shit, but I've forgotten. So we're just gonna, once we run out of ammo, we're gonna equip that stuff and then we'll see, be like, oh, we should have used it before or whatever. I don't, I think it was magazine related. You know what? Screw it. Let's just, yeah, okay, good. I don't know. Is there anything else in here? I think that screen looks important. Unfinished activity log. Infiltrated RC disturbances are sporadic. Is RC Raccoon City. Observe five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong. O officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Uh, test run at university. Diverted pack, including canines at campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. So they intentionally infected the city? Successful rendezvous with MV platoon. will make first attempt at dawn. Diverted pack towards command post. Result, night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. Uh, send it, make it viral. Uh, end of skirmish, seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. So maybe this is something else. Tracking it per orders, it appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars. A male infected and female bioweapon is pursuing the female. So that was... Brad. Female JV has made contact with MV platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are consistent with project and investigating. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. Yeah, they had a rocket launcher. <laughs> he was having a, and a plane there. He's having a good time. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating JV, Jill Valentine, um, and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. Metaphor metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with JV. JV has been infected, is non responsive, collected samples. Over 17 hours have elapsed. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. A vaccine recovered and administered. JV expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with JV causes it to change and evolve. Weird. It's got the hots for JV, but who doesn't? Did he ever give him give her his name? They're willing to negotiate. Oh. We're gonna have to kill him. Did he? I don't oh, think he ever told her. And this is one big ass if we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. He's not looking too How good. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. Is Harold with us? Nice, bro. Let's go, dude. I like that. Let me save again. <laughs> Uh. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Don't betray me, dude. Odds are he gets shot by Nikolai. Or Nemesis bursts through the wall here and just fucking destroys him. That's why they're making me walk. Sure you don't need to stop? Or I have to put him down. I got your back. Okay, I don't like that. Let's get this done. I got your back. Like, why is Nikolai evil? Like, do we know why? Is he like the inside umbrella? Like, 
I, I don't get it. This I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. The writing doesn't make much sense. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's dead. Wow, bullets will always work against this guy. Let's keep it up. Why is he in here? Like, how did he get in there? Okay, well he just dies. Okay, that's a that's a bummer, bro. Predictable character death. But how do you get down here? Like, what? This is like a secure underground lab, and you just like, yep, the shark dog. That's found its way in. And he just uses tentacle to kill Tyrell, but he's not going to use it on Jill. Uh, okay. All right. There's some times where the writing, the writing needs some work at times. Like, I get it. It's like that kind of B-movie action writing, but like, there's a point where it goes from being like B-movie to like, this is just like kind of bad. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay, so this is another underground lab. I don't think it's the same one, but it might be the same one. I don't think it is. I mean, this is a different underground lab in Raccoon City. Uh, maybe it is the same one. I don't know. Nest. That was that was definitely the name in Resi 2, but this is Nest 2. The objective of this T-Virus research facility differs from those of Umbrella's main nest. Yeah, so they... Dude... <laughs> okay, all right. I, I I like how Resi Two followed a lot of the same things that Resi One did, but they changed it and up the ante. But I feel like at this point, it's just like everything is just the same. Like <laughs> like Resi Three is just Resi Two, <laughs> but with a different character and with another Mister X. Uh, it's a bit weird. Like, okay, we've got another underground lab in the same city, and you're chased by another unkillable mutant. Okay. Um, the objectives of the T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it's imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations, in particular unauthorized entry or the removal of work-related data. Imagine someone just like ditches, just leaves with a T virus, shows it to their wife for for bans. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization. Yeah, okay. And we got the map. All right. Another save room. Okay, weird that we again. Sometimes the save rooms don't make that much sense either. We got another one right after. For like a cutscene. But maybe, I mean, they probably are smarter about this stuff than I am. They're the ones that are professional game developers. And then what happened in this lab? Like, why is everyone dead in this lab? Essay on vaccine synthesis on the roles of antigens and adjuvants. Adjuvants? <sighs> adjuvants in vaccine synthesis. Dr. Nathaniel Bard, to most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent, 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 potent vaccine base. Poutine? By processing this vaccine based with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. Jesus! <laughs> That's efficient. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. So we need the adjuvant and the antigen. And the antigen. Okay. Ooh, this guy walked through. Yeah, but why is everyone dead? Can, can we explain? Or is, this, is every underground lab that Umbrella runs just doomed? Not a single one goes right. That's why they make so many. Because eventually one of them is just going to, like, they, they just all start dying out. So just build up the next one.
Override key successfully generated. Okay, that's nice. Override key removed. Get our USB to get through those red doors. Is this gonna be like Mr. X, like with Nemesis being the shark dog, or did it? It's not in, I guess. It's not in here. I wonder if they're gonna bring back. Uh, what were the guys in Resi 1? The little bug boys. I wonder if they're gonna bring those back, because they brought back the hunters. And I and while I was complaining about the writing, I do know you guys. God damn it, man! I thought I dodged that, but I clearly didn't. Um, I know you guys said that this game's writing is definitely like it feels like it was rushed or something. I don't quite remember what you specifically said. Oh shit! I think I'm dead. Oh okay, okay, bug. Um. It, it definitely, again, I haven't even, I, I, the thing is like this game's also passing by quite a bit quicker because I think we spent, it took us quite a bit longer to get to an underground lab. Uh, and it kind of feels end gamey, but maybe not. Um, I think that might be just be because of the last two, um, Resident Evil games. Like once you hit the underground lab, it's the end game. Cause we're only like five, six hours in, um, But the writing does seem just a little bit like all over the place. I, I feel like Nikolai just randomly came out of nowhere is just the worst. Nathaniel Bard came out of nowhere, just dies instantly. Like at least like with um some of the other characters in 2, I think Irons kind of came out of nowhere. But like he was kind of alluded to in the first playthrough, right? Um, and... Annette Birkin was like throughout the entire game. Meanwhile, like we haven't really got anyone like I feel like we got a bit more of Annette at least. I feel like Nikolai shows up, says like one sentence, is evil, moves on, you know. Weaponry authorization notice request. So I wonder I wonder how different the Resi 3 is. I might watch someone play it. Again, it's kind of a pain like I don't really like playing older games too much, so I might just watch someone play it. Just to, so I can get the story. Um, Doctor, dear Dr. Emerson, I'd like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for all any employees interfacing with the admissions and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate... Regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow. If any sort of system failure to occur. High weapon, high powered weaponry. Okay. Yeah, that definitely did not happen. Is that it? There's nothing else we can do here? Okay. So we got one sample, a culture sample. Oh, wait, another one? Where did you come from? I, oh, I didn't get everything in there. Oh shit, they're back up. I think there's something probably in here. By probably, I mean definitely. Okay. Kinda worth. It's definitely worth. Um, let's just do this again. Okay. Don't want to come to life when I read that. Scientist dying message. It's happened. Our worst case scenario. The T virus has somehow leaked. And orders from Dr. Bard and to manufacture mass quantities. I've prepared a culture of the. Look, that was weird. I've prepared. A T <laughs> sorry, there's that audio effect, and I thought I had like tinnitus for a second. I've prepared a culture of the T virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with the adjuvant to enhance its effects. To save all the surviving citizens, the adjuvant symbols are stored in the incubation lab. The subjects are already wandering the halls, but I better find a way to get some samples. So 
So all of these labs just got messed up because because the T-virus outbreak is like I don't get how the outbreak in the city affects these guys that much, you know what I mean? But I guess one person gets infected and then like the entire facility is just like overrun if like one of the scientists is like oh I'm fine or oh maybe I can get to the vaccine in time and then ends up like getting everyone killed. Like that's like the only thing that like kind of would make sense I guess. But yeah I mean I feel like every one of these labs just goes out the same way. <laughs> I do think the shotgun is my favorite weapon in both Resi 2 and Resi 3. It is so good to use. Yeah, this uh, this audio thing. I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but that like I was listening, I was just reading the note, and I just hear like this high pitched sound in my ear. I'm like, what the hell, Mister X, Mister Y, Mister Z. No, 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 none of these, please. What is that? That tiny ass thing for- okay, god, we got a lot of stuff for the grenade launcher. Yeah, one for each letter in the alphabet. That was cool. Oh. Damn it, man. Do I have a grenade or some shit? I'm fucking... Uh, use this. I don't have a grenade, but I will switch to my grenade launcher. Uh, E. These guys are still up. Please stay down. Oh, he's just re-healing. I think that was it. Oh, god damn it, I missed. Okay, the FPS, the frame rate drop when they're further range is so funny to look at. Okay, more, yeah, I mean, they give you the explosive, like, the grenade launcher rounds for a reason. Oh, hello. Okay. More reading. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis. A truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. So they're using a parasite. So they have a tyrant. They have some kind of parasite. Which is, I think, the same thing that creates, like, the crabs. The head crabs. Um, and that lets them, it, like, has in higher intellect. However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of the shift away from established umbrella policy by turning to the use of parasites who are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. That's, to me, t yeah, like, that's crazy. Because um, T-virus, like, mutates bodies. I don't think Plasmodium, like, makes you immune to bullets, and... <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> 
T-Bear is really simple, actually, really simple. Um, but okay, perhaps in your country, <laughs> okay, <laughs> perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. <laughs> And again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the Forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I should be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Dude, Nathaniel Bart is such a douche. <laughs> Dr. Frank. Oh, More explosives. An adjective. Adjuvant, yeah. To immune response. Thank you, Jill. Alright, so we got both. Both of the thingies. Oh, what? I missed something at the lab? I thought I picked that up. I did not. Okay, now I got everything. So, okay, so story-wise, we're gonna produce the vaccine Dude, these things are impossible to hit. Dude, imagine if we have to fight a tyrant. Okay, we're good. Oh, man. Okay, that freaked me out, but we're good. Um... What was I saying? Okay, so we have to, we're gonna create the vaccine, get in touch with whoever Tyrell was in touch with. Uh, hopefully he left us their number. And then say, yo, don't blow up the city, we've got the vaccine. That's, that's it. I like it. Save room? Save room. Let's save. I feel like we're gonna run into Nemesis once we try to make this vaccine. And I expect Nikolai is gonna stop us from using said vaccine. I also have like no healing. A lot of grenade shots though. Isaac Graves. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me the con I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research for a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America. It was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery, so I went for it. I made the pitch of my family we were to move to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up, the world needs to know, but every time I work up the, enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. Okay. Uh... Have we ever heard about Penny or Casey? Like, were they characters in one of the other games or something? I don't remember. Okay, come on. Nice. Why don't they bring him back the bugs, bro? Give me the bugs. Is there anything else in here? It's. It seems like there should be. Or maybe it's just this stuff. Nothing in here. Nothing here. Yeah. Alright, let's make this vaccine. Enough for the whole city. <laughs> Two vials. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Thank you. One. 
Compromised materials detected. Either I've got this wrong or I'm missing a step. Weird. Can I try this? Oh, what the hell? What am I missing? Did I not pick something up? Huh. Alright, well, never mind. I thought we were done here. Um, where do I go then? So we can't go through here. We can't go through here. This is closed. This is a save room. We've went through here. Machinery room. That's where the test tubes were now. Am I being stupid? I think I'm being stupid. No, we can't go through there. I missed something somewhere. Oh, maybe it's up here. Maybe I think I went through down here, but I don't think I went. Yeah, I don't think I went up through here. Whoops. No, I did. Right, because there's nothing else I could do here. Yeah, this is the other side of that. Wait, I'm so confused. So here's the lab. Vaccine equipment. I have a vaccine. I have the adjuvant, right? Oh, okay. I did just combine them. Whoops. And then I'll put that in. Okay. Okay. Oh god, it's a puzzle. Boom. Easy. A lot of this shit's neon purple. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello, Nemesis. Yeah. Is it a lick? It's definitely Nemesis, no? Stab it. Stab it. I, I think that was supposed to be in my uh, safe room, but she had another one just in case. Fight 17 against Nemesis. Do not wake up the rest of the tyrants. You gotta crawl. <laughs> Bro, what is this dude's tongue doing? It's everywhere, man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> This is getting a little bit stupid. <laughs> I can lie. Oh, it's back. Okay. Get this thing. Do I have to hold it? Okay, I have to hold it. I can never tell if I have to tap it or I have to hold it. Wow, this is really thrilling. Good. These are the set pieces I love. Hold down W. <laughs> okay crazy 
<laughs> Just give me a boss fight, man. Just give me a boss fight. <laughs> I, I, I can do without whatever that was. <laughs> All right. We got the purple stuff or the pink stuff. All right. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to hit a boss fight right here and I don't want to stop. So we're going to keep going. Is it going to be a bit of a longer episode, guys? Um, so. Yeah. Okay, I need to really do some sorting with my equipment, though. I have so much shit. Okay, I don't really need this anymore. I don't actually have that. Actually, no, I have plenty of shotgun ammo. I have a lot of... I'll store this as well. I'll store this, because I don't think I'll need to use it. And then I'm just going to be using the grenade launcher, like, pretty much exclusively, I think. Oh, god damn it. Um, let me do this real quick. Take out this gunpowder. Make some shotgun shells. Combine this, combine that, do this. Alright. We're, uh, we got, we got, we got rounds for days for this thing, so. Let's get to work. Alright, this is, I think, gonna be another boss fight against Nemesis. So that's three, right? I think Resi... Two, we had four boss fights against Birkin. Let's see if we can get up to five against Nemesis. But this feels end gamey, does it not? It's only been like six or seven hours. So I think even not even seven. Maybe Nikolai gets infected. Oh Nemesis, you're so boring, bro. I liked you more when you had the rocket launcher. Shark dog is not as with the, this thing. This thing's too broken. Ow. Get the vaccine! Oh, but it doesn't care about Nikolai. It doesn't care about Nikolai. But why does he want it? I don't think wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. But what is Nemesis doing? He just kill her right now. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the Nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat art. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the back. I I the writing in this makes no sense. I was like, how is Nemesis, who's been chasing her, just not killed her while she's hanging from there? Oh, well, whatever. Okay, Nemesis. So, Nikolai is trying to make a quick buck, and that's why he's killing everybody? I don't get it. <laughs> I really, okay, maybe, maybe I'm being too critical and I'm being stupid. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Ow. Wait, am I already dead? Okay, that was very close. I thought I dodged that attack. Okay, this is not a good run. Not a good run, guys. Not a good run. Also, like, they didn't give you as many blue herbs this time. I wonder why. Jill, is that you? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. You're okay. Are we gonna, like, do... Okay, that'd be kind of sick. Can we, can we do like two, like a Carlo, can we like, sp I think it'd be awesome if like in the boss fight, we like, oh Jesus, we play as Carlos and then we play as Jill and then we switch off like in the boss fight, but I don't think they're going to do that. Oh, we gotta use the mine rounds. What am I supposed to do with that info? Alright. Ah! 
What was that, man? All right. Let's let's use these first. I got a lot of these rounds and then we'll go back to the shotgun. Okay. I think so. Is that like little tiny thing that comes out of his body like the parasite? That makes sense. Carlos, any moment now. This thing does not seem to be that effective. Okay. My eardrums! So I want to make sure this is... Yeah, let's do that. Where are you hiding? I feel like a resi boss fight did not need ads. Not, not my thing. Not my thing. At least he kills him. Hey, I dodged that. I'm being a little bit of a negative Nancy with this. Go, Jill. Oh, he's he's fuming. Can you kill the ads, sir? Ow. Okay, my bad. Jill. Dude, what the fuck? We're dropping him off. Oh, nice. <laughs> Reminded him. Oh, nice. Okay, I thought I didn't dodge that for a second. Bruh, who's depositing these zombies just in the garbage disposal? Ow? What? I just got up, bruh! I dodged badly there. That's my bad. Bro, there's no way that happened. Bro, I can't with these Got fucking. Some Got some more incoming. Number okay. Six. Smash them. Give me the rocket launcher. Use it to climb up. Give me give me the rocket launcher. That's how we kill these things. Give me a rocket launcher. The pistol though, the pistol's not working. The pistol's not working. The pistol's not working. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's cranes and rocket launchers. Cranes and rocket launchers. Every res every resi game. That's how it works. 
All right, Nikolai. I didn't get enough combat data. You need to do it again. Yeah, that's gonna work. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, I guess this is like a garbage thing and maybe they melt them down. That's probably what this is. Okay, that makes more sense why they're getting deposited. Okay. If it wasn't a resi game... If, I, if this wasn't a resi game... I would have said, okay. He's dead. But he's a literal pile of sludge. Still alive. <laughs> still, still alive. <laughs> there's, there's no way he's dead. He's still alive. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, I'm having too much fun though. I, it's funny because I'm kind of dissing on the writing, but I'm actually having a blast. So I'm going to keep going. Um, weapon spec sheet. Redacted. Ferromagnetic infantry use next generation railgun. <laughs> we better. <laughs> we're getting this item. <laughs> this is how we kill Nemesis. <laughs> Give me a fucking railgun. Development code name Finger. Chief developer Nest2, lead researcher Cornell Garner. Assisting developer United States Army. 60 millimeter, 6,000 millimeters per second. Suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Extreme fire power provides a secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. This thing is totally rad. <laughs> User feedback, five star review on Amazon. Tyrant's out of line, just give him the finger and problem solved. <laughs> okay. I can't sometimes with this game. <laughs> That's the firepower we need. This is our military, <laughs> pseudo military joint operation manual, and this is what we got. <laughs> Packs of firepower we need. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. <laughs> There's no way. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined. It requires multiple power sources. Maybe they feel secure in practice. Could we consolidate to a single power source? Totally red. Oh, one gunpowder. One gunpowder for you, my boy. Um, cool, we still have some shotgun shells, so that's good. All right, we're going, dude. So that's how we kill Nemesis. So round, yeah, so we're going to round four. Round four with Nemesis, maybe round five. Uh, if we can beat four, then new record. Okay, this, look at this, bro. This is a fucking boss room again, another one. Nemesis is actually Nikolai. Oh my god. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, no, no. You print money. I like money. What is this writing? Now drop the gun. Just shoot him. Okay. Nemesis is alive. Nikolai is fine. What the hell, dude? Everything just gets more disgusting. Nicholas, yes, give me more combat data. This print money. Oh my god. And now we get this crap. The data. But, uh, you know how it is. It is about to explode. And you can put a All right, can we play as Carlos and just kill him? Good luck. Nikolai! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. <laughs> the Nikolai's dude. You got you got a pistol against this thing. Look, just so you know, this better. This is the last fucking okay, Jill's kind of a badass though. I like Jill. <laughs> it's the last fucking time. I like how she just does. She. There we go. There's the rail gun. <laughs> okay. Ow! I'm already dead. Yes, yeah, well, yo, you can lift that, Jill! <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Turn up the sound a bit. So there's like a puzzle fight or something? I have to like regenerate? I have to... Drop it? Yeah. Put it back in his charger. So it's gonna be us getting to these batteries and try not to die. Oh. 
and she ate me. Okay, so I probably have to stun him or something. Probably that's how we go about it. So, okay. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a resident game, I guess, without giant blob of meat screeching at me? <laughs> gimme, 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 gimme. Now we're talking. Blast them. I can't skip this, okay. Oh, well, it's because it's... Boom! Honestly, the game... There we go. Now we can skip. All right. So I need to... I think shoot those things. Okay. Eats me. Let me see what- I didn't see the rest of the animation. Yeah, he just eats me. Okay, so you can see him trying to grab you. He's doing his little hand. Uh, yeah, so that's essentially the way it goes. Cool, that's fine. I thought I already had him stunned, but I don't think the stun lasts very long. That's why it gives you so many pistol shots, okay. I like how like her- Like you saw the ground shake. <laughs> like it broke this cement. It broke the cement on the ground and Jill's shoulders are still in their sockets. <laughs> Like, her entire body wasn't just completely, like, torn apart by that. <laughs> She's stronger than concrete. Oh. Fuck, okay. What? I broke its thingies, the pustules. Maybe I have to kill all of them. Sorry guys, I'm rushing this, I think. Let me, let me try to take it a bit slower. I'll try to take it a little bit slower and just try to shoot all of them. And maybe if I shoot all of them, it will be stunned for a longer amount of time. I think that's probably what I need to do. I'm not playing this well. Look at it, the concrete breaks. <laughs> Felt that, did you? How about some more? Ow. Wow, I've got a lot of first aid. Wait, come on, what? Okay, that was flame he's yelling loudly okay this is actually kind of hard I, again I think I'm rushing it a little bit but like all right hopefully this doesn't take forever it feels like it's gonna take forever Oh. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Oh god, how am I gonna get this one in the back, bro? I don't even have ammo. You think I don't know how to fuck you up? <laughs> He's been fucked up a lot, to be fair. Ow. 
Huh. How am I gonna do this? I'm hoping the mine rounds are enough. Oh, wow. Oh, I, yeah, I guess that wouldn't work. Throwing grenades at him. I've got no healing left, and I've got only my shotgun. I legit don't even think I can hit it. Uh, all right, guys. I have some more ammo now. Hopefully that should be enough. I hope. Let me reload this as well. Alright. I'm hoping the second railgun shot kills him because I don't know if I can do this three times. Do need to be. I'm wasting my fucking ammo too much. I gotta get ready for this third one. Let's go, boys. Last, last round. Ow. Okay. I got a lot of healing, though. I got a lot of healing. No yelling, no yelling. Oh fuck dude, I wish he didn't do so much damage. Okay, I'm getting greedy, I'm getting greedy, I'm getting greedy and this is my last heal. God, that's dangerous. We gotta get to the railgun. Gotta get to the railgun. Same! Come on, come on, come on. Please don't have to do this one more time. Oh, I'm gonna stick it in its mouth, please. Yes, yes. Do it, do it, Gerald. Yes, do it. Let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. 
All right, Jill's definitely the best. Oh, <laughs> look at that, dude. The fucking plasma. Good riddance. Good riddance. That's the last thing you gotta say. Okay, you could have been a better, better. You had, you had to have a better line than that. But overall, Jill's definitely my favorite character so far in Resi. I wonder how many different protagonists we're gonna get. Oh, I thought we were gonna go through there, but there's a ladder here. So that was four. So I'm assuming we're gonna fight <laughs> Nemesis one more time, maybe? But I feel like that was pretty, like... <laughs> the thing is, again, things just don't die in this, in this game, so who knows. Okay, very similar to Resi 2. Yeah, what what did Carlos do? Also, I don't really see how we could do a Carlos playthrough like Resi 2 where you play through Jill and sorry, Claire and Chris. Cause we, we switched off between the two. It's not like it wasn't like the Ada or the oh, I forgot the little girl's name, or like we only played them a little bit. Like we played them pretty ex like we played Carlos pretty extensively. Oh, Carlos is dead. Okay. Oh, we... Okay. He doesn't shoot her? He didn't shoot her, though. He just kicked her. Oh, he did. Do you have any idea what you've just done? What is this deal? My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile impact. The missile has launched. I don't understand. So why didn't he kill her? So he... I don't get this. Oh, he's all... Okay, of course he's alive. There we go. That's how he does it. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh, Carlos is getting fucked up. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot him. Shoot him. Just, do it. just shoot him! Just shoot him! Uh, is it gonna go just through leave. him? Imagine if I just shot Carlos, like right in the head. <laughs> hey, I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlosless world. Not in a Carlosless world. No. Wait, he's still alive. Just kill him. He's going to the gun. Just stop him. He's gonna lick the vaccine. It's like a Titan serum. He's gonna turn into a tyrant. No licky. Why'd you do it? Can I get an explanation on this character without just being terrible? There's a price that He's there. letting the world burn and I'm making a lot of money. The world burn. Okay. Who are you looking for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever. Honestly, that's in character. Help him out. Okay, she's gonna. So we're not gonna even get any info. You're just gonna let him die now. All right. That's cold, Jill. I respect it though, but still kind of stupid. I feel like you could have get it, got him to t tell you and then just tossed him off, but maybe that's fucked up. I don't know. All right, Nikolai, weak, weak ass character. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like even getting. I don't even mind a villain that does stuff for money, but the way he was introduced and the way he got away with shit, like yeah. Nemesis just ignoring him, and everything, just felt like really weird. I, I didn't get it. And why was he working? Like who? So they didn't actually. Yeah, they didn't get the vaccine. They didn't get the vaccine. That's right. So they're nuking the city. Oh, bad ending. I wonder if... I don't think I could have gotten a different ending. I don't think these games work that way. Actually, I guess Resi 1 worked that way. Damn, alright, nice. We didn't go down. That's good. I would have thrown up. <laughs> because like in Resi 1, you could have saved people. I didn't do that. I, I fucked up, but um. So long, Marcy. 
Wow, okay, I respect the fact that they kind of went out and just blew up the city, like, you didn't actually save the day. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. Kinda was. Kinda, though. It was... okay. <laughs> Human greed. Wow, what a message. I decided then and there. Ashes of raccoons. See, but so he Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them once and for all. So, who was Nikolai's employer? And that's it. So, pretty short. I wonder if we're going to get another I don't think we are. Like it doesn't I don't really know how much more content we get as Carlos. Maybe we get as I doubt we're going to also play as Nikolai. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, just short game. I think if I was I paid like $5 for this on sale, so I'm actually still pretty satisfied with the game as a price tag, but I can imagine if you spend 40 bucks on this game on release, you'd probably be pretty unhappy. <laughs> um, all right, I, again, I've been, I've always kind of teased the Resident Evil writing, but this one was, went from being like B-movie writing to like C-movie, like especially that last bit, like it wasn't the monster making virus that made everyone turn into zombies and kill each other, it was human greed, it's like okay, yeah sure maybe the greed started it or something, but <laughs> I don't really get the message besides being greed is bad, I guess, um, and then, yeah again I was gonna say I don't mind a villain being like monetarily driven, but yeah Nikolai was just like random dude is shit fucks people up for no reason or because his client hired him to do so so we don't know who his client is like who's trying to bring down umbrella like is there like a rival pharmaceuticals company that has their own bioweapons like i'm kind of confused on that i guess we'll get that in the later game um overall i gave re2 a nine and I think primarily I gave that game a 9 because I liked the first route so much. I think if it was just Claire's route, I would have given it like a... I think 7.5 is too harsh. Maybe an 8. I think the first route was like way more fun than the second route. Even though the second route had some cool bits. Second route had some cool bits. This one, I like Jill a lot. I also like Carlos. I hope we see them more. Actually, no. I think someone told me that we don't really see Jill anymore after this game. Like, there, she's still a character, but, like, she's not, like, a protagonist. Because I think they change him up every game, right? So, Carlos was cool. So, I hope we see more of him. I guess... I No, I know who the protagonist is for RE4. I do know. It's Leon, isn't it? Um, So, we're back with Leon in 4. And then I don't know about anything with 5 or 6. And then I know 7 is a new guy. I know that. And then... I don't know anything about Village either. I know Village has like the vampire lady that people simp over. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this game had some... I like Jill and Carlos. And I think Jill is that very generic, badass, female action character, kind of. Like, she's not very... She's not very interesting, like, like character-wise, but she's just fun, and I think she kind of, like, that kind of character fits really well in a game like this, so I, I had a lot of fun with her, and Carlos is also kind of like that kind of comedic action character, so I quite like that. Um, I thought Leon and Claire were a little bit, like, I wouldn't say bland, but just, like, kind of, like, pretty straightforward, like, good guy, while Jill was, like, a bit more, like, um, foul mouth and like a bit more like just you know more like just like fuck this guy fuck this guy fuck this guy <laughs> so I like that um, but yeah the game overall 7.5 maybe 7 7 out of 10 I'd say uh, I actually I thought the game started pretty strongly and I liked how Nemesis was like an upgrade of Mr. X right because like I don't think that's a bad thing to have like like, Mr. X mechanic was pretty good. Like, this chasing guy. Like, someone chasing you around. And then they upgraded it and made him even more lethal. But they kind of had it, like, in set pieces. Which I wouldn't have minded if they continued to, like, make them more interesting. But it just started getting, like, 
Okay, here's a cutscene, here's a boss fight. Here's a cutscene, here's a boss fight. Here's a cutscene, here's a boss fight. So I started losing interest. Especially again, like I'm also... I'll be honest, I'm getting a little bit tired of the same boss seven times in a row. <laughs> like, give me a little bit more variety, please. Uh, but I don't know how much variety we're going to get. It's just like big meat zombie takes bullets for 30 minutes, comes back bigger, comes back bigger, comes back bigger. So I don't know. Um, I do know apparently Resi 4 is like supposed to be one of the best games ever made. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm definitely going to go straight into Resi 4. So like not really much of a break. Uh, I'm pretty excited for it. And considering how well it's reviewed, I'm pretty optimistic it's going to be a pretty significant upgrade from this. If I get something like... If I get Resident 2, like... Kind of... Even if... I think you can upgrade the Resident Evil 2 story a little bit. Make it a little bit more well-rounded. Hit me with something like that. Like a slightly better story. Again, it doesn't need to be like some super well-written masterpiece. But I want like a fun engaging like action plot give me like the gameplay of three because i actually like the gameplay of three a lot um and then make it like a bit more varied a bit bigger like some more diversity in like environments and in like enemies and i think i'll be really satisfied i just felt like this game even though they had varied enemies at the end of the day i'm doing the exact same thing i'm just spamming dodge and then shooting the head and it doesn't really feel like and i the different weapons are cool i guess but they were pretty much the same as re2 so just give me some new stuff you know and give me some new environments i liked the resident evil 3 city but then when i'm back in an underground lab i'm back in the sewers I'm just like, okay, I've seen this. I've seen this 20 times. I wanted to see more of the city, if anything. Like, imagine if we went through that clock tower, like apparently we do in Resi 3 in the original or something. Would have been awesome. So I can definitely understand why people were a bit harsher on this game. Because uh, I felt like they had a lot of cool tools to work with, and then it just felt kind of, like, unrealized. Because I feel like a more scary Mr. X would have been awesome. Like, I like Nemesis at first. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, um, but, yeah, so that's my, like, the general gist of it. I still had fun. I still played, like, I, I'm not, like, I've played much worse games and had fun with them as well. So, this is still, like, to me, for five bucks where I got this for sale, I am pretty damn satisfied. Um, just compared to, like, how good RE2 was, I'm a little bit, like, Really? That's what we got in the sequel? Especially when people tell me that RE3 was like, the remake was like really scuffed. Like I can definitely tell. Like that's very noticeable. Okay, I don't know what that cutscene was supposed to mean besides we have a bit of the, we have the vaccine container. Yeah, this took six hours I think Resi 2 took us like 8 or 9, no? And then we had the second playthrough. So I'm... Yeah, that's oh, that's crazy. Like, the clear was only less than 5 hours. Um, Odd. Alright, well, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Again, I kind of gave my thoughts. I enjoyed the game. Overall, expected a bit more. And I think probably originally there was quite a bit more. Um, I think we could probably... People that are more knowledgeable about the history of these games and their production can probably tell us why. I definitely know this game came out with a multiplayer component. So wouldn't be surprised if this was kind of like a multiplayer kind of like add-on. Like this is how we get people into the multiplayer so that they can buy our loot boxes in multiplayer. <laughs> kind of that's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> Even though this was still pretty solid. Um, for, for five bucks, I'm happy with this. Uh, for 40 bucks, I'd be pretty upset with this. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have Resident Evil 4 out soon. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.